Hey guys, Dabu7. We have some interesting things happening here in terms of Earth, space, and the timing here of what's happening with the election. We've heard of these cyber threats. They're talking about wanting to blame the boogeyman, which, if anything happens, it will be the same old hand that's always behind these events. But what timing that we have this CME, Earth Directed, coming in due to hit on Election Day. And I just want to put the heads up out there in case there's any disruption or they try to blame this for causing something. Uh, it is in motion here. Now, if you look at the chart here, you will see that the solar storm emitted from the sun. And I'm going to show you guys this uh, beam of plasma basically being ejected off of the sun. You can see the storm coming through and you can see that it's going to blast Earth. Here they have the impact footprint. You can see that this is going to be a direct hit. Uh, they're saying a heads up here for solar storms that are going to take place. They say that on the 5th, this filament of magnesium or magnetism in the sun became unstable. And this blast spit a piece of this uh, CME into space, creating a canyon of fire. Uh, which you can see here in this clip. I'll play it here real quick and put it in motion so you guys can see this thing blasting off and ripping away from the sun right there. And it looks as if at the same time this lifted off from this, this region something lifted off on the other side too you can see there but this is what's heading our way i wanted to make note of it and also in terms of space weather here uh, it's going to cause some some beautiful auroras that that's uh for sure anyone that gets any pics wants to share them uh, let me know dabu7 at yahoo.com but check this out today we have another very close object that's going to be zipping past Earth coming at 0.7 LD. That's a little more than, well, it's around three quarters of the way between here and the moon. That's how close it will come, a rather small object. But when these things come into frame or come close to Earth, you have got to be thinking about uh, you know what else it could throw off. If there's other rocks, other debris that it could collide with, what other, what other objects it's carrying with it. But as you guys can see here, this solar storm due to make impact on Earth tomorrow. Like I said, the timing, the timing is everything. So the way that uh, the climate is here in the atmosphere around the election and with all the threats swirling, something like this incoming, just all hands on deck, guys. We talk about a lights out situation and when I talk about planning, survival, that's really what we're geared toward preparing for is a lights out situation. Whether they want to do it with an EMP or whether it is a solar event or whether it's a cyber attack or a combination used to make it look like it's something else. Regardless, it's a possibility, a very real possibility. And regardless of the corruption of this world, the sun could unleash a CME at any time that could cause a massive power outage. Not just for the United States, but you're talking globally. So, it's important to have a plan. I can't stress that enough. We talk about it all the time here lately. Been gearing up uh, and, and putting myself through many different tests. Going to continue to do so in this lights out test that I'm conducting. I'll continue to key in on the survival tactics as well. Just a big heads up here, guys, in terms of an incoming, like I said, with everything going on, I'm going to make sure everyone is aware that this is about to go down. And originally, they were stating that this was expected to hit uh, on the 9th, but now it's geared toward the 8th. So the 8th into the 9th, they're saying either way, expect GPS and ham radio uh, disruptions. That's another thing I'll be talking about more in the coming weeks. And guys... 
this really feels, you know, like we're coming up on the 11th hour. For those out there that don't have a plan, you do not want to be waiting to the last second to be making these moves. I can't stress it enough. You, you do not want to wait to the last minute. So have a good meeting place for you and your family. That's the first thing. Second, you're going to need power if the lights go, go out. And then you're going to need communication. That's what we talked about ham radio. And, of course, the essentials, food, water, how to cook it. I will continue to update uh, with more information. And tomorrow's going to be a big day. Like I said, all hands on deck. Also, make sure you check out our recent sponsor here, the Essential Drug Store. I chose to go with these guys to offer an avenue for folks to go down to be able to stock up on medical supplies of whatever kind. Most people need a prescription through a doctor to get just a 30-day uh, fill of their, their medicine like insulin for diabetics. And you're going to need more than a 30-day supply of insulin when it hits the fan. Uh, so, so when thinking about that, that's why I chose to go through these guys. That way people could stock up on what they need before a crisis situation does go down. So it's there for you guys if you need it. Like I said, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Hit me up, Dabu7 at Yahoo.com if you guys got any info out there. And shout-outs to everyone out there that's fighting the good fight. I'll leave links below. Eyes peeled, y'all. This has been Dabu7. And this is Kaluminati.